What is up guys, it is Cade here from Alex Cade, and I've been getting a lot of questions about how I made my Trey Little remix, whether it was for the drums, or for the synths, or for this and that. So I thought I might as well just give you guys all the answers in one quick little video. This is the Trey Little Mask On Remix Breakdown, and here's my Logic Session. So if you haven't heard the song, let's take a quick listen. It's just a Say My Name kind of hard trap vibe. Uh, let's take a listen. And that is the first verse, the first drop and all that. So let's break that down and we'll talk about the second verse after, but it's almost the same, but let's just get started. As you can see from this Logic session, I know a lot of people are on Ableton, but I like using Logic. It's just, I started with Pro Tools and then Logic was just the next thing that looked close to Pro Tools. So I just went with Logic and I love it. But I know a lot of you are Ableton. Uh, honestly, I think the only difference is that the the visual interface and also like all your tracks are on this side as opposed to this side. But other than that, hey, all dogs are the same, so let's get to it. This song is very, very simple. As you can see, Vokes, I got my drums here. I just like separating them whenever I do my work. Uh, bass, and then my synths, and some effects. And that's literally all there is to it. For my intro, right, I just used what he had in his intro. I used a ton of reverb for the song. I know someone, someone, I'm not gonna name who, but he told me, he, he signed to like Disciple and stuff, but he told me, man, there's too much reverb on that song. I said, fuck it, I'm, I want that unforgettable sound. You know the Sway Lee in French Montana, that, that huge song from a couple years ago? I wanted the vocals to have that huge swirling effect of just like reverb and just wet and mm. And I did that, and how much, how much did I use, right? Valhalla Vintage Verb, Valhalla Delay, right? And Alter Boy. That's really, really simple. I love Vintage Verb. I love Valhalla Delay. That's all I use for like everything. But when it comes to the drums now, um, as you can see, I've got three different snares going on, right? And then my little intro kick. And I like having that much stuff going on because every hit, if you're using three different snares, every hit is going to sound different to the listener. So that after every snare drum hit, they're going to be like, oh, okay, oh, okay, oh, okay. It just keeps them... Because, because we have such a short attention span these days. We want to keep them interested. And I find that's a super, super simple way to do it. Obviously, you don't want to do it every time. You don't want to have like 10 snares or you don't want to have those cycling throughout like your whole drop or something. But this is just a nice little simple way to accentuate the drums, put a little bit more emphasis on the drums since there's not as much stuff happening in the song right now. What else do I have for the ver or for the intro? I got an 808 going on. And I got your typical cymatics brass shots. And this trap 80819, it's literally, it's just sampled from the cymatics. Uh, I think they're Savage pack. Yeah, I bought it, love their stuff. Like they always try to sell me, but they always get me. Uh, they make great samples, but cymatics. Um, also this bass, right? I usually use Serum for all this stuff, but sometimes I just have these presets on Massive because Massive is what I started with when I first started producing. I didn't know how to use it. I still don't know how to use it, but I just have these uh, really, really cool presets. This one was from a Knife Party pack that I just found off YouTube, and this is what it sounds like. 
Obviously, it's filtered, but. Right, and I got my little splice samples right there to kind of give it that, uh, right? But I don't even have that many effects going on. Like, this is a really, really simple song, and it's one of my favorites. The verse is just a louder version of the intro. Right? For the drums, the hi-hats, I literally just copied what Trey Little had in his song, and I just used that rhythm. I wrote it down. Or I listened to it, and uh, I put it down in my DAW, and I just switched out the samples. And as a drummer, it's actually very, very easy for me to do that. I can hear it, and just kind of, after a few listens, I can write it down. Uh, I'd say, if there's any instrument you're going to learn as a producer, learn how to play drums, because so many people have trouble programming and producing drums, but if you know how to play drums, you know how to play your simple rhythms, just even rock songs, like learn some Led Zeppelin, learn some Red Hot Chili Peppers, producing that stuff. Drums for any genre, like they can all, they all work together. Oh, there's a fly, sorry. They all work together and it's really, really cool. You can put a Latin beat on top of a hip hop song and it'll sound like dance hall or reggaeton or something like that. You can put some jazz in some hip hop too, like Kendrick Lamar does that. Like drums is just such a great instrument to learn because once you learn one genre, you can implement that knowledge into a bunch of different other genres and it sounds freaking awesome. So with the patterns, how I do my patterns, literally, I, I can hear the stuff in my head that, uh, let's see, the main one is this. I honestly hear that in my head. I, th I think I heard the boom, da, boom, da, boom, da, boom. I heard that first, and then when I put that into the dot, and then I kind of see what else I have to put in there. That's when I start adding in the extra bass drum hits, the extra hi-hats. So I kind of make a skeleton for myself. And literally, I don't know how many of you guys do this, but whenever I'm making anything, I literally just put like samples anywhere. And it, it, like, if you follow the grid, it'll sound good. Like if I just move this over here, delete that, move that here, that here, that's gonna sound like boom, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, right? And like, because I'm a drummer, I can kind of see that, but just playing it, right? It, it, it sounds good as long as you follow the grid, right? You can even like double your high or double your snare drums. Let's do, oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's do that, right? That'll work too. All right, that's like, obviously you want to kind of trial and error the stuff, but it doesn't sound half bad. So just have fun experiment with the drums. And that's literally how I made these drums. Is this back to normal? Yeah. And then verse bass, there's nothing different between this bass and like here. Maybe I might've put in a low, f oh, I didn't even do anything with it. Yeah, the bass for the intro is the exact same as the verse bass, but what really gives it that punch, oh, there's a freaking fly in here. What really gives it that punch is, uh the unfiltered synth, right? From that knife party pack on uh, Massive. Because there's a bit of bass frequency. Right. And again for this, OTT, Little Alter Boy, Channel Q, Little Alter Boy, and what am I sending that all to? That is... Delay. Valhalla Delay, Valhalla Vintage Verb, and what is that? More Little Alter Boy and some Valhalla Play. I love my Valhalla. But again, simple song, I just drowned it in reverb. The build. Jim Carrey, you ain't wanna see Jim Carrey, you ain't just your typical repeating vocals right here. You ain't wanna see me with this mask. No. Jim Carrey, you ain't wanna see me with this mask. No. Wanna see me with this mask. Wanna see typical thing. I didn't want that typical silence right before it drops, so I found something off the splice that worked. And I high filtered it. Or low filter? I don't remember. What is it? I don't know what the low pass. Low pass? High pass. I don't know, but I did that. And just to give it that bit of umph, like a setup before before the drop. <laughs> Right? And again, everything's the same. I've got some risers, your typical risers here. Again, love my cymatics. 
Like this is such this is such a simple song. It's it's ridiculous. Uh, let's move on to the drop. This is a bit more fun now. Same with same thing with the drums. I just put whatever wherever. Right, and my good friend, he actually mixed it for this, uh, mixed the song for me, Alex Gamble. He really made that punch out. So if you if you're hearing the song and you've got like really really good ears and you hear there's a difference between the session and the one that you heard on Spotify or YouTube or whatever, my friend Alex Gamble, one of my favorite engineers ever, he mixed the song for me and he just added so much oomph to it. He he made it completely different, or not completely different, but like he made it really really freaking good. But that's why it sounds a bit different. I don't really know how to mix super, super well. I would never trust myself to mix anything. If anyone ever asked me to mix something, I'm like, go on Fiverr or go on Sound Better or I can recommend you someone. I will never take your money for something that I can't do very well. Because I know I can't do this stuff very well. And it would take me maybe like 10 hours to mix a song up to where it should be. And I don't even have the knowledge to get there right now, but it would take me that much time. But with an extra 10 hours, I could put that into writing a full song or two as opposed to mixing this. I can just pay someone to mix that. So that's how I do my stuff. My drop bass. I got a sub there, sub there, and then serum. I think I'm using, no, I am not using serum. Oh, these are just uh, 808s from the Grime Cymatics pack, right? Just sampled. Right, and then our verse synth, no, our drop synth, sorry. So this is the fun part. I got these off of a YouTube tutorial. I was trying to find like a trappy sound and then it just said, say my name, Burn. I found this back in like February. I made this remix in either late May or early June, but it just, it just worked out perfectly for this. All of my presets, right? I find so much of that stuff off of YouTube. It's great, so many of them. They teach you how to do it so you can just follow along or they just have the, the pack there or the preset right there for you to download for free if you give them their email or you can just buy it. I just copied this one off their video. This one drops in too. It's just like slightly different from what I had before. It's literally like the same one except less voices and I just used like some different uh, waves and that, that's how I got to that sound. Different filter, I think, too. And this one is a preset off of Serum. Right? Bass, hard, black mask. I love... I use that for, like, so much of my, my bass stuff whenever I'm testing stuff. Oh, So good. Oh, and for those ones, these little voices... That's actually me. I just used, what was it, the Sennheiser E935, right, I recorded it into that, I used that for the, the TikTok demo that I actually used to pitch this remix to him before we, we got on the full one. So I turn all this off, right, vocal finalizer, that's a great one, I love using, this is what it looks like if you ever guys, if you guys ever want to buy this, Pal Mary, I bought it for sale, uh, Little Alter Boy, Valhalla, EQ. You ain't want to see me with this mask on. Yes, yeah, me. <laughs> I sound like a nerd. And same with the whispers, I think. Yeah, I think that's me too. Yeah, same stuff. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> but yeah, it's just super simple stuff. And like for remixes, you don't only have to use whatever they give you, right? Feel free to add different stuff in. Like you're probably not going to get full publishing royalties or full master royalties or whatever so just put in the stuff and you might be able to get some but it doesn't matter as long for my my belief my business values like get the song good enough so they want it and then figure out the business stuff after because if they really want it then they're willing to give you a bit more and then verse two moving on to verse two same stuff like it's very very simple again i didn't have my 808s in the beginning of verse two just to keep it a bit different use the intro drums just kind of start off again so i can build that energy 
Cause I'm always on tour They ain't wanna let me in So I'm kicking through the door If you a rapper then you try Right, every four bars, every eight bars Add in something new to keep the listener engaged I'm trying to diss me then it's game time First it's been up to a wall Stretching like a hang line Think I saw my soul First of all I know it ain't nice and just back to your typical verse that I had in the beginning. Um, the fun part for me was actually the second drop, which is right here. Uh, let's play that right now. I don't know how many of you guys heard it, but I turn it into a Moomba kind of feel, like that Latin reggaeton thing. I was listening to a lot of reggaeton when I wrote this song, so that's why I did what I did. And obviously, if I have that, like having this kind of draw or this build right before it or just your typical build because i think i wrote this build i wrote the builds after writing that drop actually now that i remember it but i had to link that drop to the first drop in a way that wouldn't make it seem too far apart and i did that through the builds so for the builds Right, build it up, have some silence, and start introducing that reggaeton uh, beat. And all that is is four on the floor for the kicks, and then boom, ba boom, ba, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Three e and a four e and a one e and a two. And again with these little notes like. I, I had my main reggaeton thing going on, and then I threw those extra hits in just to see what would happen. It actually worked out pretty well. And what do I have here? My hi-hats, and then a ride cymbal on top of that for the drums for that build. Came from Detroit, and these are all, I rarely, as you can see, like all of these sounds are the same. I rarely do any sound design in this thing. It's like all my presets. Um, I did my initial sound design, but like I just use those same sounds. Came from Detroit, your typical effects, your risers. Man, I use this cashmere impact with sweep in like every song. Like if you listen to enough of my songs uh, and my demos, you'll you'll hear them when they when, when they release. But <laughs> I use that so much, and hopefully people don't notice it. But I just revealed myself, so maybe you will notice it. But I don't know how many people are gonna watch this video. But there it is, cashmere impact with sweep off a of splice. And how I got the synth melody to sound a bit different was just my side chains, all right? Because over here, um, I side changed my, where is it? Where's the drop, where's the drop? My kick to that, my snare to that. Uh, I think that's all I did, actually. And what else? What else is side chained here? Right, and some vocals. But because I chained, I changed the rhythm, to the the side chaining right because i changed the drum rhythm it gave me that mm, da, 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 and it, it popped the, the the synth pops out in those empty spaces as opposed to that the the old type of empty spaces where we had like mm, da, sh, da, sh, da, sh. but the compressor as you can see just my stock compressor off of Logic, there's a bunch of these, so I just kind of pick and choose whichever one works the best, whichever one gets me the sound that I want. Yeah, if you hear it, if you even see this, like it's almost the same as this, right? Maybe I like cut up some notes, but. Yeah, I, I kept that black mask going a bit longer sometimes. But then we go back to the old rhythm. And that's literally all there was to the song. And that's the song for you. If you have any questions about this, yo, send me a DM at Music by Kate or even e uh, DM us at Alex Kate Music. Doesn't really matter. I it's usually me replying if it's like production based questions. Uh, Alex, she usually does like kind of the musical direction, um, the DJing stuff. So if you have questions about that, message her about that. If you have questions about production, 
that's me. Um, and what else? Again, I just want to shout out to my engineer, Alex Gamble, audiogamble.com. That guy is Juno nominated, Juno winning. That's like Canadian Grammys if you're like from not Canada. But he is such a magician. This song would not have been as successful without his magic touch on him. So if you're looking for anyone to mix your stuff, hit up Alex Gamble. Uh, his prices are super, super fair for the amount of value, the amount of magic he puts on your tracks. Like, this guy is so, so, so good. Um, anything else I want to say? If you like this breakdown, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we try our best to put out new videos every week. It's different every time. If you like this breakdown and you want to see more breakdowns from my other songs, leave a comment in the, uh, leave a comment in the comments. All right. If you want to see more breakdowns, more production stuff, more tutorials, hit me up. All right. I, I want to make stuff that you guys want to see. And with that, watch some of our other videos, subscribe to our YouTube, follow us on Instagram. If you have any questions, my DMs are always, always, always open. If I ever win a Grammy, I will try my best to still reply to your DMs because I love helping people. And with that, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you later.